Hello, we are here again for the another project. This is REW03. This is the version 3 of Russell Electronics Robot Waiter. This robot waiter is the combination of line following robot and avoiding obstacle robot. Let's get started. Here we have 10 dining tables. For the first service, let's serve a food to table 5. We select the number of table we are going to which is the table 5. Then let's put the order of table 5. After we put the order to the robot, the robot will count 5 seconds before it leaves its place and go to its destination. If the robot encounters an obstacle at the distance of 30 centimeters and below, the robot will stop. If the robot has reached its destination, the customer must take his order and return the serving tray to the robot for the robot to know that it can be returned to its destination after five seconds the robot will return to its destination nice. <laughs> after the robot return to its origin it is ready again for the next order delivery and repeat the process we did before. This robot has its own entrance and exit so that if possible there are two or three and more robots in a fast food restaurant, they will not like.
everything is fine. It works. Thank you, Lord. In this project, we use a white tarpaulin, electrical tape, and black colored paper. In this project, we will use a 4x4 matrix Arduino keypad to select the destination or table number that the robot will go to. We can define the number of table we selected on the LCD display. In this LCD display, we can see the number of table that the robot will go to. This is HCSR04. This is ultrasonic distance sensor. It detects the distance of the obstacle in the unit centimeter. This is light dependent sensor or LDR. It is also called photoresistor. It detects if there are orders to serve. Underneath the robot are four motors and three IR sensor module. The purpose of red IR sensor is to detect the black line and maintain the direction of the robot is parallel to black line, while the green IR sensor is to detect the number of intersections that the robot has passed. Let's see what else is inside this robot. This is L293D Potter Driver Module. Its job is to run the four motors. This is Arduino Uno. This is Arduino Nano. This is Atmega 3280 plus ESP8266. It is same as the Arduino Uno. And its ESP8266 is not functioning. There are two photo potentiometers. The one potentiometer is used to adjust the brightness of backlight of LCD display. The another potentiometer is to adjust the sensitivity of photoresistor and this is breadboard the breadboard is used for arduino nano because the pins of arduino nano is males unlike arduino uno and this is the power supply the battery or we call the cell the cell this there's are this are two cells that is connected in series this is to 3.7 volts and capacity of 2100 milliamps hours the size of this battery is 18650 